Okay, so I thought I'd do a few more screen tests on micro SD cards. So I've got three different cards to test, and uh, what I wanted to check was how much difference the A1 and the A2 cards make to the Raspberry Pi. Now, the Raspberry Pi speed test only wants to have an operating system running at 1500 in and outs per second and 500 in and outs per second for minimum random read speed and minimum random write. Uh, but uh, the A2 is obviously a faster card and I can tell with my uh, cheap SSD drives that they are definitely faster than uh, my Class 1 Magix card which is, has been one of the best SD cards I've had. Uh, but I had a look on Amazon and I thought oh, let's have a look and see what uh, A2 cards I can get to see if the performance is better. And uh, it came up saying that I'd already bought one. Uh, and so the card in my GoPro is one of these, which is a 64-bit SanDisk Extreme A2 card. Uh, and so I thought I'd test that, but also just so I, because, I, because I've used that card before uh, and it's in my GoPro, I mean, I haven't used it extensively in my GoPro, but it's probably been overwritten 30 or 40 times, I guess, since I've had it. So I also bought a brand new, uh, one of the cheapest A2 cards I could find, and it's a Kingston one, uh, and you can see it here, so it's the Canvas Go Plus. So I thought I'd try that against the Magix, which was the best card I've had so far. So let's minimize that one. Here's my little text document, which I've got on my NAS drive. So let's run these speed tests. So we go to Sys, uh, Accessories, Raspberry Pi Diagnostics. It's nice that this is included now in Raspberry Pi OS. So speed test, run test. Okay, so that gets a pass and it doesn't take very long at all. So show log. And I just copy these three bits and the fact that it says pass. So copy and let's paste that in. So now we need to boot up with the Sandis 64 Extreme, but you can see it's well over, so 29,574, 29, random write speed 847, and read speed is 3056. So this card has consistently been really good, and I've run operating systems on it, and it's been excellent. So I need to save that, and then reboot with the 64 gig SanDisk Extreme. Okay, so it's great that this opens so quick uh, now that I'm using fast SD cards. So let's go into accessories and diagnostics and run the test on the SanDisk. Okay, so that's come up with a pass, which is to be expected. Uh, let's see how much better it is. So copy that over. So, so it's slightly faster on the sequential write speed, it is faster on the random write speed, and it's faster on the random read speed, but is it meeting the figures that it should be getting? So let's get rid of all this, open up a browser, SD A1 versus A2. So same document up, uh, so man, minimum random read. Yeah, that's well under that. So it should be 4,000 and it's 2,077. And the minimum random write is 2,000 and I've got 894. So that's not looking good. Uh, it isn't a new card, it has been used in my GoPro. So, uh, you know, to be open about it. Um, it was bought from Amazon Prime, so I'm sure it's a genuine one. Um, but. Uh, but looking at that, it's hardly any different. In fact, the random read speed is less than the Magix, which is an A1 card. Right, so let's try the Kingston, which is a brand new card. All I've done is installed uh, Raspberry Pi OS on it. So let's save that. And reboot with the Kingston. Okay, so we're on the Kingston card now. Uh, so let's start that diagnostics test. So diagnostics, run tests, and see how we get on. Okay, so that's come up with a pass nice and quick. So what have we got here? So, and I'll also, uh, well, so let's look at the test first of all. So it is slightly faster than the SanDisk, but not by very much. 
Uh, the random write speed is definitely faster. So let's get that web page up again and see how close we are to meeting those stats. A1 versus A2SD. And this is the article I use to give me this chart. So uh, the ones we're really looking at, the random write speed, 1521, and random write should be 2000, so it's under on that, but it is definitely faster than my SanDisk. And uh, the random read speed, 3621, should be 4000, uh, but it's, again, a lot faster than the SanDisk. Uh, but the Kingston is a new card, so bear that in mind in this test. I'd be interested if someone had a new SanDisk Extreme A2 to see what results they get. I just thought as well, uh, while I've got this page open, let's run that test again and see how different the results come up. Uh, so accessories, diagnostics, let's get rid of that one because I've already copied it over. Hit run test and see if I can get a faster speed running it again. Okay, so show log. So what have we got? We've got 33048, pretty similar but faster, 1517 slightly slower, and all oh, the random read speed got really close. So is is the Pi uh, is the SD card slot in the Pi consistently able to hit that 4000 2000 uh, limit or is it is that the limitation? Is it worth having an A2 card because we're not really improving much on this, are we? Uh, so this A1 card, which is which is very cheap on Amazon, is giving us really good speeds. But actually, uh, these A2 cards aren't really, well, especially the, the SanDisk, but again, bearing in mind that is uh, a used card. Uh, but the Kingston is, is getting close. But is it possible to get those speeds on the Pi through the SD slot? I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do in the next video, uh, or in one of my next videos, is to put those two cards in a fast USB 3 adapter and see if I can get faster speeds by doing that. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.